Yes, well, I have information about the SPACE BEES! Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the Sir Chancellor Show. This is going to be a compilation of sorts of three to four distinct segments, all linked together by me. Stan standing here, I mean, I'm- I'm- it's- it's me in every bit, it's- the individual bits or segments are going to be different for every episode, but reoccurring segments are probably going to be updates, shoutouts, footage from upcoming videos, stuff like that. But there's also going to be unannounced, random, or surprise bits that you guys aren't going to know about. So even if you don't like the updates or maybe you don't like the shoutouts, you should still watch future episodes so that you always are up to date with the Sir Chancellor lore. <laughs> if you're a bit confused, I don't blame you, but uh, it'll make more sense as the episode goes on. So without any further ado, here is OCD. As you can see, the audio quality probably won't be top keck uh, for this segment, uh, as I do not have a lapel mic and the camera is quite far away. So uh, we're just gonna use use a little smartphone, you know. Unfortunately, I know phone bad, but uh, that's uh, all we have to work with right now. And also, quite unfortunately, is the fact that all of my notes are on said smartphone. So, uh, we're just gonna hope that, uh, things just sort of play out into a keck montage of Twitch fails. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to OCD, Outdoor Channel Discussion. It's gonna be kind of a more laid-back, uh, just discussion of the Sir Chancellor channel. You know, little updates, uh, just keeping you guys up to date on, uh, what I've been up to you know, in terms of the channel, what direction things are going to be going in from now on. Uh, I want to do this periodically, uh, hopefully regularly, so that I do not have to feel pressure to make update videos. They will be integrated into this. I also uh, want to mention that as you can probably tell, it is not quite raining, but it is still dangerously cloudy. And I'm not quite comfortable having the camera outside in a rainstorm. So uh, we're going to try to wrap this up fairly quickly. Weekly uploads. What's going on? What's happening? What happened? We had a good thing going. Why did... Why it... I can't move this hand away. That's... That's a bad, that's a bad recording technique. Weekly uploads have ended. I know. I know. It's not a preferable situation. But it's the one that we are in. The only reason it worked the way it did was because I was incredibly lucky to have filmed many good videos in a short span. I think there was like a month where me and Emery got together like every single weekend and just filmed a really good video. That wasn't planned. That was just pure coincidence. But it worked. Unfortunately, the thing about weekly uploads is I am quite lazy. That combined with I must upload every single week is a bad combination. Because in the end, Thursday night, I would just make a little fan edit, a little meme -y, a little meme. Do you like the Disney Channel meme? Mm -hmm. I see it's meme, so meme. I decided I would finish off 2019 weekly uploads. We did it. But I think now it's time to lay back the frequency and focus on the Keck quality. Uh, I think that would be much more better to have maybe no video one week, but a good video the next week, rather than having a cringe edit and a low keck video the next week. It's just better for everyone. Another thing I wanted to bring up in the short time that we have out here is the channel itself. The entity that is Sir Chancellor. It's been pretty bad, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think I gained five subscribers. Yeah, five subscribers in the last eight months. But in a way, it's a good thing, right? Because when I was gaining a bunch of subscribers, I was making pretty cringe content. Uh, I was I was making Walking Dead streams, 
The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 4 full stream, full upload. So with little subscriber growth, it gives me a better opportunity to focus on content that I'm passionate about, rather than just selling out to gain the most subscribers, because, hey, that content worked. The Walking Dead streams, I was gaining, like, huge subscriber- I was getting, like, 10 subscribers. If I'm going to focus on content that I am passionate and that I care about so that people will watch my content and enjoy my memes. I don't want to make a Idiots Find an Alexa 2. I don't want to make that. I want to make cool stuff. I want to do stuff that I find entertaining. So that means more film-oriented videos. That's right. I call them films because I watched one A24 movie and now I call them films. Bro, have you even seen Uncut Gems, bro? I can't believe the Oscars, uh, the Oscars did my man. I can't believe the Oscars did Sandman like that, bro. I can't believe they really did him like that, bro. They did him dirty. <laughs> Film-oriented content, uh, definitely want to do more of that, but still in a keck manner. I'm not going to turn into a Vsauce documentary uh, sellout. Uh, I'm no nerd, guys. Despite the Four Eyes appearance, I, uh, I'm actually kind of a cool guy. Uh, I think it's gotten incredibly dark now, so I should probably just wrap things up as it is. I like the idea of a multi-part serial episodic saga, and just a organized form of updates I think is also a good idea. And that's about it for this, uh, I have no idea if this footage is even salvageable. That's about it for OCD, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and that you guys will turn in for the next one when we discuss Keck or Cringe Homestuck Edition. Wow, who knew light was needed to film video? So that sort of update format will probably be a more reoccurring uh, segment on this show, just because every time I get an idea, I immediately want to make a 15 minute rant just explaining it to you guys. So hopefully just having an organized way of updates and whatnot will prevent me from sort of just making bad content. Speaking of bad content, here's unboxing time. pepperoni pizza rolls. I only eat the cheese. Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of Unboxing, and today is a very special day because we have received our first Sir Chancellor fan mail. Was that funny? So as you can see, uh, our first fan mail has some sort of weird symbol on it. Uh, not quite sure what it means. It might be some form of uh, signature, actually. My script reading isn't quite up to date as the scholars are, so uh, I might be missing something, but... Let me know in the comments if anyone's able to discern what this means. Alright guys, let's get into the unboxing experience. Huh. Pretty high quality, actually. You can see the build on this thing is actually pretty solid. Uh, it was only through my uh, brute strength that I was able to open it, so... So as for the actual contents of the item... I'm so excited! <laughs> oh, Okay. It appears to be some form of, uh... Poetry. Dear Sir Chancelot, Due to the recent decline of po in popularity of your games, we have taken pity onto you and invite you to be the 11th DLC fighter in Super Smash Bros. Brawl trademark. We hope it will give you much needed exposure. With love, Mr. Nintendo. This is a huge moment for the channel. I'm actually trying it out world premiere right now. I'm trying out the Sir Chancelot DLC for Smash Brothers Ultimate. It's 
It's uh, really fun. So I'll see you in the battlefield of Smash Brothers <laughs> Ultimate. Bro fist. Wow, this Smash Brothers sure is something, huh? Speaking of Mr. Nintendo, that brings us to our next segment, Trong. Yeah, we're just staying here. I, I was, I'm too lazy to move the camera, so we're just going to set up right here. I'm just going to change hoodies to signify that... It is a separate segment. Hello everyone, welcome back to Trong. That really oils my gears, you know? People always talk about what really grinds their gears, but today we're talking about what oils our gears. It's just, um, it's just a shout out. It's just a shout out. I don't know why I think I'm funny. I'm not funny. So for today's episode of Trom, we're going to be talking about my favorite British YouTuber. It's a good friend of the channel. We've done several collabs. They make really good and funny content. That's right, you guys. It's Stampy Longhead. And right, let's, uh, let's carry on. I wonder where Squishy is. Meh. Yeah. Meh. These other guys are also there, but like... <sighs> so Muo6 is actually one of the oldest YouTube friends I have. Uh, I think we first met in 2017 when I was preparing to do a Hive Swap live stream. So as you can see, this was pretty far back. He is also the original Emery fanboy, as you can see, he actually made some original concept art for his debut album, Reverie Hill. We've actually done a lot of collabs, uh, going way back, uh, to times maybe I, I don't want to bring back up. Yellow YouTube, it's your boy, Sir Chance Live. But also, I've actually owed him a shout out since back in 2018 because back then my fan base was called the Sir Chance Lattes. And I planned on having a segment called Sir Chance Latte of the Week, which was basically a uh, shout out. It's, it's basically what this is, except it sounds. And he actually made a video attempting to be the first Sir Chance Latte of the Week. Not start. <gasps> Anyway, let me add the flavors. Take it open. Bruh. Uh, I guess you could say his content has come a long way since where it started. Emma, I will let you just be shot. His current content's not exactly very frequent, but it's actually some pretty high quality stuff. recent content has included the live game show Cool Facts, which I have actually participated in twice, and Emery once. But yeah, the game shows were really cool, I definitely recommend you guys check them out. Uh, also... That's... I don't know why I said also. So Derek Lay Epic is actually a more recent friend of the channel. He actually found my channel through the film adaptation tier list, which still is an underrated video. He makes heavily edited reaction meme type videos. It's kind of hard to describe, but the editing is actually pretty impressive. <laughs> Surprise! Nope. Swampy Bastion main detected. Swampy Bastion main.
Yeah, I would want YouTube. YouTube. He did a parody of Dead Meat's Kill Count on the movie Fred, and actually got a reply from the official Dead Meat channel. The movie begins when Fred's talking to the camera about how much he loves not being in school. But if you pay close attention, Fred's Dead. mom is first on the count. He actually cameoed in a video of mine a while back. I don't think many people really caught it. I have a very important question. Who is Joe? Joe from Impractical Jokers. And recently I actually cameoed in a video of his. I will definitely recommend you guys watch. Some of you eagle-eyed fans may have noticed that hoodie. That's right, your eyes don't deceive you. It's official Derek Lay Epic merch. Look how cool and epic it makes you look. Oh man. Oh geez, I sure feel really cool right now. Now that's some premium quality right there. Wow. He, he sure does look cool wearing Derek Lay Epic merch. I can't look at how, look at how cool that is. Wow, now that's some high quality merch. I sure do hope that I can get some. Well, you can, just not this one because it, it's not selling anymore. And so this ad parody dash actual plug is irrelevant because you can't even buy this anymore. But you can buy his new merch, which is out now. I don't have it, but I bet it's pretty cool. Just imagine how cool you'll be if you subscribe to Derek Epic and Muo6. Hey man, mind if I sit by you? That depends. Do you watch Muo6 and Derek Epic? Uh, who? Didn't realize you were cringe. Sorry, bud. I only sit next to cool people. Let me know what you guys think of this format. I know it's sort of a mashup, but I feel like if these were separate videos, it would just be kind of dumb and lame. Also, let me know if you guys have any ideas or what you want to see in future segments on the Sir Chancelot show. There probably won't be another episode of this for a while, maybe a couple of months even, but uh, between you and me, we're working on some pretty high quality stuff. Here's a clip. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> what did you put in there? <laughs> Please remember to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Thank you for tuning in to our daily morning broadcast. Everyone have a great day, and go Sir Chance Lattes. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Ugh, get it away from me, man.